Let me, uh, I'm going to skip to right at, okay, your video will continue from this point after the break. So I'm going to skip to right there just so we can hit another ad. This ad is a minute long. Another YouTube video, and this time not a tech product, but another streaming service is upping their prices when really I don't think these streaming services need to. I mean, come on, how much money does Disney have? Like they would be perfectly fine without upping their prices. In today's video though, we're gonna show you the Disney Plus with ads. So as of today on December 8th, Disney Plus is now $7.99 with ads and without ads, It'll cost you $10.99, $11 per month. Now me personally, even as a kid, I never cared for Disney. I never cared for Mickey Mouse. About the only Disney movie I remember ever really liking was Toy Story. I was more of like a Cartoon Network, Power Rangers, Warner Brothers, Batman kind of a kid. Just Disney never correlated with me. Wow, that was a big word. We're going to go on the Disney Plus website. We'll go over some of these new features. And then I'm going to sign up for Disney Plus with ads. And I'm going to show you what the ads are like. Kind of see if we can see where they're placed at in the videos. As well as how long the ads actually are. Now I have a lot of streaming services. I've been streaming since way back in 2015 when Sling TV first came out. Because to me it was just so much smarter to pay for that. Versus paying for cable where I could only watch it at home. Home. I currently have Netflix and Amazon Prime, Peacock, a triple play of Disney Plus, which I don't pay for. I get for free from Verizon. Streaming services are really a big deal to me, and I know there's a lot of people that'll be interested in this Disney Plus with ads. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life, and indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and let's check out the Disney Plus with ads tier. All right, so if you go to DisneyPlus.com, you get brought to their homepage where, of course, you're able to view the plan options. So you can see here that there is the Disney Plus Basic with ads, which is the $7.99 a month, or the Premium with no ads, which is $10.99 a month. The only other real difference seems to be that you get to download videos and watch on the go with Premium. You also, of course, get ad-free streaming. They did seem to include everything, so Disney picked Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic. So you don't lose any access to any videos, you just have ads. Now, for the ones on the bundle, so uh, the Duo Basic, which is just Hulu and Disney Plus, is $9.99, and then the Trio with ads is $12.99, which I believe that's the same price. So maybe those didn't actually change, they just added a basic option. And then there's Trio Premium, uh, no ads on Disney Plus and Hulu for $20 a month, which considering everything you get there, three streaming services for $20, that's really not a bad deal, I don't think. But we're gonna pick Disney Plus and we're gonna go with basic with ads for $7.99. And the first thing it needs, of course, is our email address. So let me throw in an email there. All right, and I don't care for promotional information. So there we go, agree and continue. And then we will make a password. All right, continue. And so no free trials or anything. You instantly pay your $8 and you get your Disney Plus basic with ads. You can, of course, cancel anytime. Uh, which is effective at the end of the billing period, meaning with me paying today, December 8th, my billing period would end on January 8th. So if I canceled tomorrow, I would still have access till January 8th. So let me throw in a credit card in here and let's pay for this. So let's set up our profile now. What best describes me? Uh, oh my. All right. So access the full catalog. So uh, yes, we want the full catalog. You have access to full catalog. Your content rating is now set to TVMA. Uh, no, I don't need a pin. All right, so there we go. We are now on Disney Plus with ads. I can, uh, you can see it right there. Disney Plus Basic, $7.99 a month. So let's go back home. Now I'm not seeing, currently at least, ads, what is that at? Ads on the actual uh, screen here. So it seems that the ads are just in the videos, which that's good. You don't want ads all over the place. Uh, I don't know what to watch. Let me, I guess, let me watch the one uh, Disney thing that I've actually always liked, which is from Pixar. Do we got Toy Story? Yeah, Toy Story. The first one, the best one. Let's see what we get. Click play. 
Had to mute that, but but you have a little counter here. This ad started at 40 seconds, so a 40 second ad. I just, you know, copyright reasons, I get copyrighted. And so the dance dance, and then now another one. And it's still counting down over there, okay. So there's our first Disney Plus ads. All right, now the movie is starting. And do we see, we do. So about 21 minutes in, there's an ad break. That's the first one. And then about 15 minutes after that, there's another ad break. And wow, that seems to be, that's it. That's very surprising. So an ad at the beginning and then uh, two ads uh, right in here. So let's, let me uh, click to here and let's check out this ad. Weird, it just kind of skipped over it. Let me, uh, I'm gonna skip to right at, oh, okay, your video will continue from this point after the break. So I'm gonna skip to right there, just so we can hit another ad. This ad is a minute long, so a minute ad this time. And then, like I said, shockingly, oh, when I go to skip again, it even, oh, well, I can't skip, never mind. Let's, uh, let's come back once this ad is over. So the ad's over, and uh, yeah, there's literally not another ad in this uh, movie. So let me go pick another movie. I wanna try Star Wars. Only because Star Wars is like a big deal to a lot of people. And so I feel like they'll load it with ads. Let's see. Let's see. Um, uh, sadly, I know nothing about Star Wars. Like, no lie. I'm a big computer geek who uh, does not like Star Wars. I don't even know what a movie is and what's a series anymore. Uh, here we go. Here we go. The, uh, maybe those aren't. Here. We're going to click this one. All right. So let's play it. We should. Okay. We should get an ad at the beginning. Oh wow, so no ad at the beginning, that's that's surprising. And then, so why does this have ads? What? So are they selective on what content has ads? Very strange. Um, okay, let me uh, try again. Going back home, let's do Marvel. Maybe Marvel's a bigger deal than uh, Star Wars. So let's try Iron Man, one of the best movies ever. So here we go, Chick-fil-A ad. Starting again at 45 seconds. So 45 second ad at the beginning of the movie. Not not that bad so far. All right, so the movie's starting now. Sorry about the reflection. Hi. And let's see. So this one seems to have an ad right here, an ad right here, and an ad here. So for some reason, maybe because it's a two-hour movie over a shorter movie, this one has more ads. Now, I think when you're fast-forwarding, it don't seem to uh, give you ads right away because, like, you can jump to here, and then I'm going to jump in front of that ad, and see, it doesn't even give me an ad. And then we jump to here, and to here, and in front of this one, and this time we're hitting an ad. So this ad is a minute. So, so far, not too bad. Let me let this one complete and see if we can get the third ad to show up. All right, so that ad is over. Let's uh, skip forward and see if we can get the third ad to play. Which, no, I think because I'm not actually watching enough, it's not uh, triggering the ads. You must have to watch a certain amount, which I can say if that's really how this works, I really like that feature myself. So that was, uh, that was a little interesting. That so far is my experience with Disney Plus with ads. Now, as you know, I'm not really watching the videos here. The Toy Story movie only had two ads. Iron Man 3 only had three ads, which, you know, a minute apiece, definitely not too bad. 45 seconds to a minute. I don't mind waiting for that long. That's It's not like Hulu where it pops up and it says, you know, two and a half minutes or three minutes. Those are a little bit too long in my opinion. Granted, I know that's a normal commercial break, but Nobody wants, it's 2022, we don't care about that. Now, I really don't know why Star Wars didn't have ads. That was mind-blowing. I truly thought Star Wars would have more ads than any other movie on here, but it had absolutely no ads. I'd have been able to watch that whole movie ad-free, it seems. Now, all of this may change as this continues to improve for Disney+, Plus, as it has just came out today on December 8th of 2022. But this is essentially what you can expect from Disney Plus with ads. So for a $3 savings, you can sit through a couple of minutes of ads. I can definitely say that if I did not get the triple play package for free from Verizon, I would definitely downgrade to this because I don't watch Disney Plus at all. My wife watches it. My daughter watches it. I there's other than Toy Story, there's nothing on here I'd care to see. But that's Disney Plus basic with ads. Thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, of course, leave them down below in the description. I'll try to answer them as I have this for the next month or so. And click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.
when I went to cancel this, it's trying to get me to go to premium with no ads. And then uh, don't miss out on all this action. Now I'm going to click cancel subscription for the third time. And now it wants to know why. Thank you.